Hello and welcome back to Come Geeksome. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe for all future content. When we talk about Ron Toy on this channel, it normally regards Ron and things about what he normally does and how a lot of people think he's a little bit funny in the head, probably the best way to put it. And it's probably right, and we got this here now coming from that umbrella go, just thank you very much to this. And I did go over this earlier in one of my videos, but when you look at it and think, ah, right, actually, you know what, yeah, that's quite right. So what we have here, Sir Ron Toy supposedly hired a service to scrub 90% of his Twitter, and he's archiving those mean old YouTubers talking about what he's saying online because courtroom. It's weird how public Twitter posts are off limits and now the courtroom matters. So it's very interesting. See, what we're going to do, we're going to have a look in these tweets that have, well, and these are actually on Facebook. So it seems to me now that Ron Toye may be actually going on Facebook instead of Twitter more, mostly because obviously they think that we haven't got access, which is a little bit stupid and naive of them, really. So, Ron Toye. I paid for a service to remove a ton of people who were following me. Once this is over, I will have them unblock everyone. Sorry for the frustration. You hear the people replying back and forth to him and say what he does. And of course, the idiots from the site we won't name made this one. Obviously now they're talking about Twitter and they're probably talking about, about YouTube as well. And this is the interesting one. They ask uh, Ron, how much does this service cost? I pay like 30 bucks a month, and it tracks analytics and a few other things. I want to track everything going on with my page. I also have a company who is transcribing each YouTube video they put out and talk about us. That service will also archive websites and other data in a format that is usable in court. Thankfully, this stuff is almost over. And then they've gone back to Ron. Wow, I'm really glad you weren't big on this. Ron Toy, if you need even more footage, I've been archiving all the streams in their entirety. So, one of the funniest things about all of this, and he carries on here, I don't like bullies, and that's what their movement represents. They are not encouraging education or fair debate. They are pushing an agenda of hate and lies. They justify terrible actions and call it normal. Time is up for them, and the louder they get, the more desperate they look. So, with all of this, again, anyone can pick these apart if they actually look at both sides. And when you got, uh, you know, him saying about track everything on YouTube, what's talked about him, and all this kind of thing, it's like, well, okay, first of all, they can't do anything with whatever's used against them. Because when you look at my channel, look at that umbrella guy, Hero Hey. You know, yellow flash. Nick, Nick, yeah, as well. When you look at everyone, we just put all out there everything that they say. And again, obviously now Ron's going to be having this one recorded, probably. So Ron will be able to watch it or hear it and say, we just put out there everything that they put out there. We just go over everything they've said and we give our opinion. So basically, they're trying to say, no, you cannot have an opinion that is different to mine. And when you think about it, they are trying to be the thought police. And again, I said this before and I'll say it again. Because obviously, because I've mentioned Ron now in this as well. And this video is about Ron Toy the, the third, as he keeps calling himself. You know, it's that Monica probably tried it on with Vic. Vic said no. And she went and spoke to Ron. And basically, when Ron... He's done this to me. And Ron has probably thought, oh my god, how dare he? And then all of a sudden, you know, these things are happening. Because when in his actual court video, they ask him what does he know and all this kind of stuff. And, he, you know, he shuffles in his seat. He... That's how he talks a little bit when, you know, he's trying to think... It's almost like he's trying to think of something to say. And again, he looks at me and he goes, all right, okay, yeah. And he, and he says, you know, God... She told me ages ago. Like, we're okay, fair enough. And then obviously he goes on about the tweets and everything else. And he's like, well, where did these, uh, you know, these hundreds so women that you know? I'm not telling you anything, is basically his response. Because he just said no to Ty. And Ty was like, well, I'll go and get a judge. And when he says that, Ron looks at his counsel. And his counsel just go, oh, Ron, just answer it, it's fine. 
And that just goes to show how much of a child Ron is. He needs someone else there to tell him what to say. Because, again, you look at Ron and you would you would think he's got his shit together. But he seems to haven't, you know. But it's just that part there where he says, I don't like bullies and that's what their movements represent. And they don't like having a fear debate. Well, we try and have fair debates with everyone on that side. And what do they do? They block you. This is why, again, it's it's just Ron being an idiot. Because, again, fair enough, if he is just doing all of this because Monica has told him, then fair enough, you know, he's just blinded by love. Because, obviously, he's, he's going to marry you. He, he probably loves her to death, like, you know. And... He's probably just being strung along. And if that is the case. I do feel sorry for him. Because if he's just being strung along by Monica. Who has just made a whole heap of lies. And she just keeps pouring these lies on Ron. I do feel very sorry for him. Because if that is the case then. It's not going to end well for him. You know and. If they are in favour of Vic or Vic does sue him. Ron could lose a shit ton of money. And again, that could be Monica's fault. Because the way Monica has gone about a lot of stuff, you know, a lot of her witnesses or whatever, her witnesses have publicly come out and said, no, you're wrong. You know? So that makes that makes you look like an idiot. Because, and again, with these people, like, you know, Ron has said these 100 plus women, well, who are they? Where are they? You know? It's like, no, the public don't need to know, but... You do need to acknowledge it to the court. And if the court says, yes, we do have these names, but we're not going to tell anyone, fair enough. You know, that is fair. You know, because no one deserves all this amount of drama and everything that's going on right now in the world, you know. And when you have a Dallas News as well, when that article came out, and I do feel sorry for the writer, Sharon, because she probably got a ton of heat for no reason. Because she probably just went in there and said, oh, you know, what's happened? And she got caught of it. Oh, this is happening in the in our area. So we need, we need to cover it. Which is totally understandable. But when you get people from your side, again, it seemed just to be like one or two people as well. And when you show them facts, when you show them everything, they blocked everyone. You know, it's like, oh, come on. You know, are you really that bitter? Are you really that stupid? You know, it's that sort of thing. But I'm going to finish this video by here. And I'm just going to let you all have a little think about what we've talked. And have a discussion in the comments. This includes you too, Ron. Because, you know, if you just come on and have a little chat, I will have a chat with you. You know, we can have a discussion. A nice, fair debate. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for future updates, and I'll see all you lovely people soon.